Hey gang, this is Jeff, and this weekend I got a question from Kathy. Now, Kathy had seen the recap images David Anderson does for the weekly challenges, and he's got he does this thing where he does a wireframe around a basically a screenshot of a challenge. Um, and she really liked that, and she said, "Is that a storyline feature, or uh, how do I get how do I get one of these?" And it's really really simple. So what you want to do is just find a challenge where David uses this type of uh, uh, screenshot, uh, or find your own picture of a tablet or or computer, or draw one yourself. Um, but you can, if you like this, just copy it. Go to PowerPoint. I'm pretty sure you've got that. Put it in there and then open up your course somewhere and I've got it right here so this is my course and I want to take a screenshot of that now I can do just press print screen but in PowerPoint there's also the insert screenshot feature and it actually takes a look at windows you've got open so I can just click that and I've got my screenshot so that's pretty convenient uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop this And I'll just do this. And I don't have to do it picture perfect, pixel perfect, as long as it's good enough. Because I've got to rescale this thing anyway. As you can see, it doesn't fit exactly. So let's do that. Oops. There we go. I'm holding down the shift key so it will constrain the proportions. Just a tad, and I can play around with the height and width here as well. That seems okay. Now, as you can see, it doesn't fit exactly, so I need to make sure the background matches uh, the uh, color of my uh, uh, of my interaction. So, either you rebuild your interaction one slide to match that background, or if if you got a simple one like this, I can just duplicate this. Let me zoom in on that, see, show you how I do that. I'm gonna crop this again. And I'm just gonna get enough of the edge here. There we go, that looks fine. And then I'm just gonna pull this out, see? And what I'm doing is I'm basically creating the background that I want. So let's slide it into place. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna move this away and bring it to the front because I want to put that on top of it afterwards and now I'm just gonna stretch this up and again I can play around with these as well so this is a little too much it's a little too little but if I move it around a bit you know what I'm gonna just gonna give this a border similar to this style it's about this color I think make it a little thicker so I'm just gonna play around until it matches what I've what I'm seeing here so that looks about right now I'm gonna put this right in the middle voila now as you can see this looks pretty good I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna press Ctrl A to select all these items, and I can group them if I want, and just right click and save as picture. And that's it, you've created your image. And like I said, you can do this with any type of image. It can be a photo uh, of a laptop or a tablet or a phone or whatever, or something you draw yourself in PowerPoint. This is just, you know, basic shapes, rectangles and, and, uh, and, and circles. Um, so this is it. Go ahead, play around with it, and, uh, well, show me what you've done. See you around.